There's a reason many Zombies fans consider COD WoW's final map the best map ever made. But is it overrated nostalgia, or is this map truly that good? To answer this question, we'll have to take a trip back to 2009. I was 7 years old, and the team over at Treyarch was looking to put out a new map that would not only vastly improve the gameplay of Nazi Zombies, but also the story. They planned on taking every aspect of the COD Zombies survival gameplay and turning it up to 11, making it easier on players looking to beat their round high score. For this, they decided on one location in particular, Ground Zero, the site that started the Zombies outbreak. It was responsible for the development of the iconic wonder weapons that Zombies players have grown to love. The 935 facility, dubbed Der Riese. Der Riese launched on August 6, 2009, featuring four major gameplay elements that would vastly improve the Zombies mode overall. The Pack-a-Punch machine, teleporters, monkey bombs, and the Bowie knife. The Pack-a-Punch machine being the most significant. Without the use of the Pack-a-Punch machine, surviving on higher rounds gets very difficult. So when it was introduced in Der Riese, it was a major leap forward in terms of of regular players getting to higher rounds. Its appearance in Der Riese is due to the scientists' desire to recreate the machine for the war effort. Whenever the player uses a Pack-a-Punch machine, it will swallow a gun for about 3 seconds and spit it back out with various upgrades, the most obvious being its new appearance, seemingly having been made out of silver engraved with various patterns. Its other upgrades vary from gun to gun. Generally, it improves the magazine size, ammo count, and doubles damage output, but the added cosmetic change of the muzzle flashes color. In general, it is always a good idea to pack a punch your guns when playing on Der Riese, no matter how anxiety inducing the teleporter linking process may be. Speaking of which, the teleporters themselves are actually quite useful when linked. To use them, the player will have to spend a thousand points and they will be transported to the map spawn, while remaining safe from zombies. Perfect for sticky situations. The next major factor is the iconic monkey bomb. The monkey bomb is a real stuffed monkey toy built by Sophia before being weaponized by Richtofen to distract the zombies. It has a hat with the logo of the group 935, as well as several sticks of dynamite strapped to its back. Its main use is to temporarily attract the attention of zombies while going to revive other players. Fun fact, this toy seems to be possessed, as it screams in pain if it's thrown into a furnace. <laughs> to which Samantha will scold the player for being so cruel. Are you so cruel to Mr. Monkey? Mr. Monkey to However, doing this easter egg also greatly increases your odds of getting power-ups dropped by the zombies, so in my opinion, it's very beneficial to do. Last but not least, we have the Bowie Knife, a large, fixed-blade fighting knife that will one-hit kill zombies up to round 11. However, the Bowie Knife is very expensive, therefore not being of much use. With the changes brought by this map, con zombies would never be the same again. For the first time, players had a realistic expectation of making it to round 50, expectations that would usually be be crushed by how ineffective unpack-a-punch guns turned out to be at higher rounds. Couple that with the map's design of showing instead of telling, and you have a certified hood classic. When you spawn into Der Riese, you immediately hear the door of the pack-a-punch room being shut, telling the players that it can be opened. Next, the player might find a clue to unlocking it by reading writings on a wall next to the generator. Embrace the trinity and true power will be yours. The trinity in this case being the three teleporters dotted around around the map. To activate them, they must first be linked. With every teleporter you link to the mainframe, the door to the Pack-a-Punch also lowers slightly, hinting that they should keep linking them. These small details are in my opinion what makes this map so great, but I love Der Riese for its map design and nostalgic camping spots. Others will rightfully love Der Riese for its expansion into the lore of Call of Duty Zombies. Der Riese is a reference to the real Nazi project Riese, a project with the goal of creating seven hidden underground tunnels in Nazi-occupied Poland, intended to be used as weapon manufacturing facilities. Much like the real project, the Der Riese facility was used to test and develop new weapons for the Reich, including the Wunderwaffe DG2, the teleporters, the Pack-a-Punch, and the zombies. We find hints of this fact in the environment of Der Riese. By the time we make it to the facility, it's seemingly in shambles, with open fires illuminating the facility and an SOS sign made out of sandbags and spare wooden boards. Most of the 
the furniture has been knocked over and a majority of the facility is in a state of disrepair. With most surrounding buildings on fire, the air is permeated with a thick downpour of embers. At various locations, we can also spot the Group 935 Field Operations Manual that all employees of the project must treat as, quote, as their Bible. Another aspect that helped develop the lore behind the 935 facility are the various recordings by several hidden radios. One next to some barrels in the spawn area, one on a cabinet near the bridge, one above the door in the room with the trench gun, one in a furnace near the teleporter, one hanging on a ladder near the vats with the zombie in it, one at the end of an underground hallway, and the last one on a shelf near the stairs leading to the balcony. When interacting with these radios, they play various recordings of tests being conducted in the De Riza facility. The first radio message is a letter from 935's founder, Ludwig Maxis, to the Reichstag High Command, urging them not to cut their funding to the project and requesting a steady supply of the Element 115. Sophia, this letter is to go to the Reichstag High Command immediately. Gentlemen, it is with the utmost urgency that I draw your attention to the lack of funding being injected into the giant project. While I believe we are close to realizing the ultimate plan, we still have several years of development before it is ready. It would be folly to cut our expenditure so early in our development. As you know, early tests on the DG2 have easily outperformed expectations, and we fully anticipate mass-producing the Wunderwaffe within the next few years. Work on the matter transference has, however, come to a standstill. We simply do not have enough Element 115 to continue the experiments. The test subjects have survived the teleportation, but are currently unresponsive to commands and cannot be controlled. If we are to overcome this obstacle, we need to increase the frequency and size of the experiment. To this end, I suggest we find not only a regular supply of 115, but that we also find a larger conduit to channel the energy. Our operatives in America have informed us that the U.S. has a large supply of the element at the Nevada base. So time is of the essence if we are to stay ahead of them. This cannot be done if you cut the budget, nor can it be done if you insist on pressuring us into action before we are ready. I am, of course, available for discussion on the matter, but in the meantime, I will continue with the work here and try to win this damned war. Signed, etc., etc., Dr. Maxis. He then goes on to explain that the Americans have also gotten a hold of the element and will likely use it to develop weapons to counter the advantage of the project's developments if they are not funded and supplied appropriately. In our next message, we can hear Max's attempt to give orders to a zombie. In this experiment, Maxis orders a zombie to stand up and walk towards him. However, Stand up. Stand up! Good. Look at me. Over here! Good. Now walk forward. Excellent! Further. Keep coming. It's alright! Stay there. Calm down! I order you! Kill it! Bring me another! The zombie doesn't stop there, and seemingly attempts to attack Maxis. Before this can happen, however, Maxis orders the zombie to be shot, after which he attempts to try again before the log ends. In our third radio message, we hear something rather sweet. Now, you must be very diligent, Mr. Samantha. Owning a dog is a great responsibility. Yes, father. Oh, I love her. You must feed her every day and walk her and be very careful when you play with her. You know she's going to have puppies. Really? Can I keep the puppies too, father? We'll see, Samantha. One step at a time. Maxis gives Samantha a pregnant dog, telling her to walk and feed her. Our fourth message is far grimmer. Porter, the inventor of the upgraded ray gun, is attempting suicide by cyanide poisoning. But I'm all out of hope. I'll feed the same, my friend. Damn it! I can't find my pills. 
and report to the barracks. They are coming. We must do what I must do. God forgive us all. To destroy our designated material and report to the barracks. This is not a drill. Warning. The shield is now active. To destroy the designated material and report to the barracks. This is not a drill. However, he fails to find them and ends his life by hanging instead. This is presumably due to the zombies breaking out and attacking facility workers, threatening his life, per instructions found in the field op manual for all 935 employees. In the fifth recording, we hear a test conducted on a teleporter. A test subject is placed inside and the machine is turned on. Initiating test number three, subject is within the test chamber, activate power. Oh my god! Can you hold yourself and clean that up? Test number three. Unsuccessful. Test subject has been reduced to the same state as previous subjects. Clean up the test chamber and recalibrate the system! Let's do it again. Yes, doctor. This results in the test subjects being vaporized. Maxis orders Richtofen to clean up the teleporter and recalibrate the machine before the log ends. Our sixth log is a recording that's rather interesting, as it details a teleportation experiment with a dog. Edward, tie the damn thing down! We can't have it running around during the test! It's tied down now, Dr. Maxis. Initiating test number five. Subject is within the test chamber. Activate power. Searching for vitals. No reading, Doctor. The subject has disappeared. Dr. Maxis, we've done it! Don't be foolish! Test number five is unsuccessful. Subject has vanished, yes, but has not reappeared at the mainframe. Recalibrate the damn system! Now! However, instead of teleporting the dog to the mainframe platform, it appears to disappear. Angered by this, Maxis yells at Richtofen and calls the test a failure. In our final recording, we learn that the test is being conducted on the dog given to Samantha in an earlier log. Initiating test number six. Subject is within test chamber. Activate power. Damn it, Edward! Did you set up the device correctly? Yes, Doctor. As per your specifications. If you had done it to my specifications, then it would have worked, wouldn't it? As usual, your incompetence has... What? Do you hear that, Doctor? Quiet, you fool! Test number six is a failure, but the experiment has caused some kind of electrical force <laughs> energized within the chamber. Well, open the door! Doctor, I don't think... Open the door! Now! Daddy, what are you doing with Wolf? Damn it, Samantha, I told you never to come in here. Edward, get her out of here. Yes, Doctor. What's wrong with her? Daddy, what did you do? Blushing! Come back here, Samantha! Stop her! Easy! Come here, Samantha. Good girl, Rossi. Gently, Samantha. That's not Flossy anymore. We must get out of here. What? Edward, what are you doing? Open the door! Edward, open this door now! I'm scared. Don't go. Stay by me, Samantha. Goodbye, Dr. Maxis. <laughs> After the test initially seems like a failure, leading to the disappearance of Samantha's dog, Fluffy, she reappears in hellhound form. Samantha, now seeing her dog turn into a zombie, is horrified and begins weeping. As the hellhound is now in the process of tearing the room apart, Richtofen locks Maxis and Samantha into the room with the hound before teleporting them away, unknowingly putting Samantha in charge of the zombies via the moon pyramid device. One small detail that I didn't notice before reading into the Max 
access on the wiki is that the room containing Quick Revive on Der Riese is actually labeled as Max's office. Another easter egg that can be found on Der Riese is the infamous flytrap easter egg, where a player must shoot a panel past a barrier with a pack of punched gun. Various items, including a monkey bomb, bowie knife, teddy bear, Molotov cocktail, Colt 1911, and a Perca Cola bottle will then start to glow and fly away. Upon which, Samantha will challenge us to a game of hide and seek, where the player must find and shoot two teddy bears and a monkey bomb hidden across the map. The first is in its cage, inside an animal testing lab holding a bottle of Juggernaut and a pack of punched 1911. The second is in a building over the main spawn area holding a bowie knife. And the third is a monkey bomb holding a hand grenade and a Molotov cocktail, located in a furnace. After shooting the monkey bomb, Samantha will angrily admit defeat and say, <laughs> One last thing, there's a clock overlooking the spawn area that seems to be stuck at exactly 1.15, with the second timer that seems to click back every time just before it finishes its rotation. I wasn't able to figure out what this means, so if you'd know the answer, I'd love to hear it in the comments below. Thanks for watching.